Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev, welcome back to this let's play of Civilization 6 as Indonesia. So we're building up our faith. You know what, I keep leaning towards uh, the Gurdwana. We're gonna stockpile a lot of food. It's only plus two, it's basically a choice between the Gurdwana and just the synagogue for stacking pure faith. And I'm wondering if two food is worth more than two faith. I'm kind of teetering there. In the end game, I think the food is going to be worth more. Yeah, we're going to go with the food. Yay, food building. So we're very much a food sieve, or food religion. Found this religion. Lovely, and we got some air score out of that, I think. At least the inspiration. There we go. Hinduism is the true path of salvation. Please ignore all those others. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And that's good. I, and I finally noticed how golden the interface has become. Because golden age. Great. So, uh, 16 turns. 17 turns. 9 turns. I'll probably be researching one more then. While we still have this active. Actually, yeah, right. We're going to be um, getting some new things with that. Now, she's still a grumpy eye with, with us because, you know, we don't uh, build our, all our districts. Anyway. I want to see. Yeah, she, you're leading on the culture. That's uh, fine. Did you actually build... Who built the Hanging Gardens? Was that you? I'm almost certain that, that, that must be Victoria. We're doing good on score. It wasn't you. Okay, so the hangar is supposed to build on someone we don't know. Got it. But uh, she's up there now. It's getting scary. She's a declared friend though. Yeah, you got in your own Royal Navy dockyards. Uh, you're most likely upset with me because city planner. No, actually, no. You still haven't reacted to that. You're just plain unfriendly. Great. It kind of irks me, though, that you've managed to get your loyalty up and running again. Don't know what she did. She might have just... Either she, no, she didn't park a governor there. I guess she just bought a monument. Oh, she built it right on the giant's causeway. Ugh. I'm gonna build a city out here, I think, if I'm... City there, possibly, and possibly on that one. And I do want a city down here. And it's gonna be a bit of loyalty issue there. That's only because she's in a golden age right now, so she's gonna... yeah. I will see how that works. I think these cities first, I guess. Unless I find something very good there. I think we're still gonna stick with this. For the next two cities. Uh, we haven't seen any... Well, there is Mercury over here, and Gypsum. So there's a reason to move over there. In addition to all the resources. But it's not exactly a, a friendly area. And all I ask is a tall ship and a star to steer her by. Okay, lovely. Another plus error score there. Hmm. We still haven't gotten animal husbandry or archery. <laughs> um, getting the kampungs would be fantastic. Getting the colossus would be fantastic. Two galleys, we're going to be able to trump that fairly quickly. We're not going to be building commercial hubs, most likely. It's going to be harbors. Not going to build that either. It's only a single place where you can build a pasture. We're not really 
defending against anything. I think we're gonna go for the Kampong because I do believe I can buy a ship right now. Yes, I can. Though now we might want to save up for Apostles. And such instead. Nah, one more boat in the water. That's gonna trigger the Eureka for what we just started. And that's fine. Actually, I probably want one missionary so I can spread to my own cities. Come right in Auckland. Fantastic. And you're just gonna sit there and be annoying. Got it. Okay, so now we know the resources out here. Does that change what we want to do? If I move a city there, you're still going to have a decent harbor site there. It's just going to be further away. And you're going to wall off these resources. Uh, but we're still not going to have a great harbor site on this island. On this side. We could build a city here. And that would still wall off everything. And then there's a question of these islands, which we can't really settle on because of loyalty pressures. Now, if we build a city here... That's going to cover all squares except this one. And it might exert enough loyalty pressure for this island so that we can settle there safely. And that's about the only thing that I want to go there for. I mean, you do want to settle near a coastal resource. But then we're going to be in range of both of these. You know what? I'm going to stick to this plan, I think. These... They, 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 oh, oh, words. That's going to be the next two cities. And then we'll figure out what to do from there. But there are a few islands we can, you know, invade. <laughs> one of these, and this one, certainly. And this one. And I want to, because of the achievement. Even though that's going to be kind of... Yeah, I don't know. You know what, let's scoot up this way and see what's around Auckland. Twelve turns, and twelve. You took a square. Oh, dang it. So someone's, someone's sending uh, envoys your way. Actually, no one is, so why are you gaining tiles? I thought they only gained tiles with envoys. Or did you get them because I sent my diplomat down here? Because now you're there and there. You're actually dying for the fish. And the rice. Um, I think we're going to be buying tiles in a few turns. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, if we did be in a few turns earlier. Um, <laughs> she's a declared friend, so I don't think a surprise attack would have been particularly welcomed. Um, but why the hell is she sending a settler all this way? There's the escort. You're gonna have loyalty issues here. I think. Maybe, maybe not. Can you settle anywhere there? The really scary part is that she's actually going to go, going to go there. Oh boy. Yeah, now I really want to settle in here, so I'm sure she... Because she could have beelined down here. Just as well. Yep, they settled over there. They settled over there. <laughs> I had not expected them to do that. Okay, that's going to get interesting in the long run. 
Let's see what's around Auckland. With you and you just, you know. You're right, you can't go any further, can you? Dang it. One turn we can switch policies. And governments. Politics is the art of the possible, the attainable, the art of the next best. Okay. Okay, so now we have some considerations to do. First of all, how long will it take me to get another policy? Seven turns for this, seven turns for this. I need how many turns to finish this? Seven turns? Eight turns. That's going to increase a little bit then. I am okay with this. So, um... I want the envoy. I want to see if I can like sneak in an envoy and secure Auckland. Which I possibly could. We'll know in seven turns. Anyway, new government. Uh, right, which government did you guys take? I think you took Classical Republic. Yes, you did. You took Classical Republic. You took Classical Republic. I think they always do that. It feels like they always do. Anyway. Not that. Not, wrong button. Classical Republic it is. Still gonna keep that. Uh, uh, that one, I guess. I don't think passing the, the, the diplomat around counts as the first end where you send. So, I don't know. That could be useful, though. You know what? Uh, in seven turns, we're gonna switch this out. But in seven turns, we're gonna get a new envoy. Then we're gonna send that to uh, that to Auckland. It's gonna count as two. Yeah, I think that's a good plan. So we're gonna lose like fourteen of these points, but that's okay. Uh, just platform production. Uh, what do you want in the wildcard slot, though? Two extra gold. Uh, one faith, one gold. Save some gold. Or just prepare for the builders. No, right, land purchases. Right, we were supposed to do that. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be it. Confirm policy. Plus two air score again. We're doing fine. You can't move through here. No, that's closed. Of course, I can open it by just sending the diplomat down here again. <laughs> Not gonna. Okay, seven turns on that now, and seven turns. Okay, that's good. Now, where do I want to go? Do, you know what? Let's... Yikes. Okay, there's a lot of warriors around here. Be nice to Auckland. Um, she might, you know, think about doing something mean to her. You are not going to reach this one ever. But I can't find a city there anymore. Dang it. Right. Wait, this is a separate landmasses. I can. Hmm. And there's not going to be a lot of issues either. Tempting. Tempting. Because there are separate landmasses, the whole normal rules don't apply. That's the thing. So you can settle closer than three tiles. Wait, that means we could... That means we could settle on this island too. Yeah, we could. And this one. And both of these. Huh. Hmm. Thought, food for thought. Right, we are now in the land purchase mode. Which squares are worth more to us? Um, so that's 172 gold and 256. Because you need both of them. And it's going to be the same story here. 172 and 256. Uh, so that's going to be regardless. Uh, 162. 
That's gonna be too much gold. Can't afford that. Can't afford both. Not yet. So I guess we'll wait a few turns. Which square would you take first now, though? These are three food. I think the city AI will pick this square first. So that's probably going to be high priority. I would kind of kick myself for losing the fish, though. But the fish is going to be closer. Once we settle the city here. So... I guess it's going to be fine. You, where do I want to move you? Well, the Dutch had you have open borders with us. Just, you know, sail up that way. There's Eindhoven. Yeah, that was our fifth city. Yikes. You're quite expansionistic. I don't like this. Please, be a... Be, Good lord, you're not warriors. Yeah, I'm gonna build districts, lady. Give me time. Give me time. But not Warner. Let's see. Yeah, we need to save... That faith needs to be used for a missionary now. I wouldn't be surprised to see a missionary just, you know, traipsing along here as well. That's kind of why I want to build one on my own, so I just can, you know, spread the, the faith locally. You want open borders, you're willing to exchange for gold. Uh, you'd give me more gold. I'll take the flat gold right now, actually, because we're in a land purchase mode. 26, 25... I don't know why they don't tell the AI to just give the maximum they're willing to give right away, because that's what you want to demand. How gracious of you. I agree. That's still Auckland, okay. Have you sent anyone to Auckland? Please say, to say no. You still haven't. Uh, this means Auckland is going to be... Actually, it's just, this is a separate landmass, I think. You have tons of units there, but it's a separate landmass. And we found another continent. Okay. Uh, still four turns until I change just about everything. And then we... We'll have enough cities to, you know... Kinda match the AI. Once those cities are founded... Uh, I need to know. Holy... This is such a great area for polar lands. Wow. I gotta say, I am impressed. They're gonna have so much polar lands. You cleared this one, that's fine. Where did that other one spawn? Not here, which is what I really care about. One's there. This one's cleared. Wasn't there one down here? That's there still, that's there still. I thought there was one down there. Or was that clear and this one showed up instead? I don't know. Anyway. No, I no, nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Nothing here. Uh, it must have been that one down in the frozen waste that spawned. It must be. I can't see anything else. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Doesn't matter too much. Just a few more turns. One more turn. One more turn and everything changes. Okay, so it is on the same continent. Okay. Ah, that's less than great. But still good enough. Please don't have a... Nope, you're still two envoys. We still have a chance. We still have a chance. I like to say I practice militant mysticism. I'm absolutely sure of some things that I don't quite know. Okay, so first of all, before we change our policy and everything, then we're gonna send one envoy to Auckland. 
That should count as two. I'm also going to get the air score for being the first. And it did not count as two. Didn't I activate that policy? Okay, so that's bugged. Now we know that. The first envoy you send counts as two. But if you have the diplomat there already, it doesn't. <sighs> so I would have to have to reassign her to somewhere else and reassign her back again to make sure we got the extra envoy. Okay. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. We still became their suzerain though, so now we're gonna get that lovely, lovely bonus. Uh, shallow water tiles plus one production. So I just want to see, is that all shallow water tiles? It is. Oh, that's going to be so fantastic for us. Of course. Oh my. Okay, yeah, this was built first, and that one's increased by 10 turns. Ah, uh, that's kind of annoying. Um... You know what, go with the other tech there then. We're gonna keep the settler policy for a few more turns. Uh, what are we gonna build here? The builder would give me the bananas. Nothing else. Wonders, no. Uh, the harbor, definitely. That's plus three gold there, plus three gold here. The campus. I kind of want to save up until I have the gold to get this tile up there. That's probably a better campus for us. The government plaza, that's th that's going to be a pain in the arse to plant anywhere. To the truth be told. I don't really want to smash out another settler either. Or do I? I mean, I could. I'd switch the policy out in a few turns, though. Getting the harbor down would be nice. Probably there. Yeah, let's just plant on the harbor. And if you're hearing sounds in the background, set the cat at it again. Ah, kitty. Please don't yank all the computer wires out, would you please? I kinda need the computer wires in the computer. Not enough toys. Not, not enough. <laughs> there are never enough toys for that cat. Anyway, uh, that means this one's going to be kind of pointless. Let's get, put the other one in. Uh, we, right, we still. Oh, right, we didn't buy the tiles. Uh, yes, I want to close the menu. So, you haven't gotten this, and I still think that's your priority tile. So, the cost has gone up. Dang it. Uh, I can just afford it though. Okay, fine. Now we can trade away that one. Change policies. That one in return for this. That one for... Could start rebuilding builders. Maybe we want to go there instead. I need to keep this one until the other settler... Well, I'm going to keep it for seven turns. Then I'm going to switch that one up for the builder policy. I do think... Yeah, we're going to keep that for now. Confirm. 
I mean, I don't know if anyone else has started cre recruiting a great scientist. Doesn't look like it. So it would be nice, you know, to have some points into that. So it basically means no civ... Oh, you can cross water. The Dutch can cross water. Yes, of course they can. They, I saw that earlier. So we know they have shipbuilding already. That's um, kind of scary. So I'm kind of torn. I want this city so I can grab the fish. ASAP. And I want to build over there so I can stop the Dutch. No, but we're gonna solve we'll go for the threat we can see right now. I don't think she'd be crazy enough to go down and settle here. And she just settled down our fifth city. So I don't think she's going to be building any new settlers anytime soon. At least I hope so. We'll find out, I guess. And we're definitely mapping out their territory. And we found us... Whom? What? Found someone with a boat. Someone far away. Laventa. Okay, you are being competed um, competed over for from two sieves. Uh, what's your unique bonus? Colossal heads. Yeah, I don't care about that. You want me to convert you? Yeah, that's not gonna happen anytime soon. <laughs> you're you're simply way too far away. Okay, time for a break. Thank you for watching.